Y'all thought we were not going to talk about Attack on Titan? Did y'all really think that? <laughs> oh, you guys have no idea how much I've been excited to talk about Attack on Titan. You have no idea. So, let's jump right into this video, shall we? Boom. So, I've been holding off on watching the Attack on Titan episodes because I was like, you know what? I don't know if I want to review it. A lot of people are reviewing it. And I was like, I, I read the manga. I kind of know what's happening. But guys the manga ends in three days i was like you know what like we could either review the manga which with the horrible art style or we can watch the anime with the it's not as good as the other studio that used to produce it but it's, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because bruh this fucking ooh, attack on titan is so good right now y'all it's gonna end and it's gonna end pretty well so let's let, let me let me just say this right now i love the direction of this series i love it i loved it and i think we've always known this is where it was gonna go it was always gonna go this direction it was always gonna end like this and i think a lot of people who were very nostalgic of the series who don't want to see the series go in this direction are kind of hurt but i'm not so we're jumping around to spoilers so i already gave you guys the heads up that little that little uh heads up talk right there which is me saying we're about to go on spoilers, so you can shut the video off right now if you don't want to hear. Anyways, we're going right into it. Let me just say this. Bruh, Aaron is truly the hero in the story. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. This is going to be a different review. This is going to be me talking about it, and then I'll probably review the episodes after this little discussion. So, why is Aaron the hero in this situation? Because Aaron is essentially doing what Sasuke was trying to do. At the end of Naruto, he wanted to reunite the world and give them one big enemy, and then after that enemy's defeat, the whole world will have uh, that rallying cry, you know, the sense that we did this together, so we should stay together, kind of thing. So, Aaron right now in the series is a fucking terrorist, bro. He his mindset is we need to, we need to attack Marley first before they even think about attacking us. And he's smart because that's exactly what Marley was going to do. Marley was looking for an excuse to go and invade uh, Paradise Island. They were looking for an excuse. But Aaron was smart to think, you know, they're going to come eventually. We can't just stand around here. And he, his speech to Ryan, I know everybody was like, oh, you have to, you should have been reviewing this like weeks ago. But his little talk to Reiner, I'm like, yeah, bro, I get you. We're the same person. Everything you've done, to get where you're at now I'm doing it I see everything through your eyes I see the pain the sadness the fear the rage I see it all we're the same person and it's just destroying Reiner because Reiner's like bro how could you be saying that so calmly and not want to kill yourself like how could you be saying all this so calmly that you relate to me that everything from Baron Holt's death Marco's my my because I killed Marco because um everything else in between like how could you be saying all this and he's just like because i'm gonna kill my enemies fucking aaron my god he uses kruger's last name if you guys remember who kruger was kruger was the guy who aaron's dad named aaron after aaron kruger was the original user of the attack titan before uh risha so risha decided to name aaron after that man but y'all, y'all, man, let me say something real quick. Let me say, let me just say this. Why is Aaron the protagonist? Because Aaron is doing an, why is he the hero, not the protagonist? Those are two different things. Why is he the hero? Because he's giving everything for freedom. Everything he's doing, everything he's fighting for is for the sake of freedom. Aaron is literally a freedom fighter, a little extremist. Okay, not even a little, but he is literally giving the world Marley their own uh colossal titan situation when the walls of maria cena and all that fell down that was torture that was horrible that just that literally made aaron to the fucking man he was aaron did it for them to show them yeah we're not so different the same situation can happen on both ends i guess with the same result will come you i will make a person who would do everything in his power to fight I will make a person who is exactly like me. Aaron essentially is showing that we're no different than anybody else in this world. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to all these other countries that we get exposed to. And that's another cool thing is we get exposed 
that there's a lot of more countries than just the one that that's behind the walls like it's not just marley there's um like an african country there's a japanese country there's a fucking italian french english like there's a whole bunch the the the, the tibers are even like i feel like they're russian more russian ish than european and they all just hate Eldian. bro i was just like bro so much so much is happening in these episodes like it's just great and i remember i read the manga I skimmed through it though it's been a while since i've read it but i've just been like whoa man whoa there chief whoa and especially right now what's happening in the manga that's another big thing there's just so many things that are happening at once and we're not far behind and that's what's so great and that's why i think i'm just gonna do this series is because the manga has three chapters left the anime is probably gonna go like is covering the material but they were there it's such a close neck a close knit race that they're gonna make it they're gonna make it to the end and it's not gonna be like some anime only ending it's literally gonna follow the manga but jesus christ man can we can we talk about something real quick when aaron came out of the fucking uh hole or the little little underground area and started attacking bro aaron is a different type of monster aaron doesn't fear this this is battle harder than aaron bro we we'll see what happened to him and why he's in here and still with background story but this Aaron don't give no fucks, man. He don't care. Like, he's just like, bruh, what'd y'all think? What did y'all think was gonna happen? We're just gonna stay on that island and pretend like we couldn't attack y'all? It's amazing. It's amazing. There's stuff in the manga I really wanna talk about, but I'm like, you know, I gotta save it for this channel. I'm gonna save it because there's just so much good stuff. Also, yes, I'm back from my vacation just for, you know, further notice. I'm recording this on a Friday. Came back early, but I like, like I said, I binge watched in that cabin all the episodes of Tech on Titan of this new season, and I was like, bro, how have I not been covering this greatness, bro? Like the manga is one thing. Like I read through the manga, I'm like, oh, that's cool, oh, that's dope, awesome. But watching it happen, watching all this like transpire, I was just like, oh, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this when we get home. And here we are talking about this levi versus the beast titan bro fucking levi bro round he takes two w's on the beast titan and this is zeke bro this is the one that everyone's been like yo commander zeke's our admiral zeke or is he captain zeke yeah if, if zeke's in the game we're it's a w on us we got this bro they had three wait they had the warhammer titan jaw heart beast they had four titans four titans out numbering Aaron Aaron still takes the dub bro let's talk about this this scene right here though when uh Gillard is like bro why aren't you guys running away from me I'm a titan and the 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 whole uh survey corps is just attacking brutally just like that it just goes to show like you all like a big thing was like well how are they gonna be able to keep up with these people if they don't have the technology or they don't have the the means to battle them with like guns and stuff they don't need guns they have precision they have weapons like that's what's so scary you you've you guys see the titans you run these guys have lived the titans they've lived with knowing what death is and seeing what the death that comes with titans they've accepted it they've grown past it and they've grown stronger like the survey corps don't play bruh they're ready to die are you people and that's what's when when Giller calls them these are the devils of the island he was never talking about the titans he was talking about the people who kill the titans who who go out of their way to fight these monsters fucking i, I don't even know what to say i don't even know what to explain other than goddamn bro when aaron pushes gillard mouth on top of the crystal that's holding a tibber sister for the the warhammer titan and crushes it godly bro Aaron doesn't play, bro. Aaron is not playing. Because is not playing. Levi for sure isn't even playing, bro. We even got John handling the cart titan. You got Sasha with the sniper rifle taking out the the armor the uh, her guard that ride the cart titan, bro. It was literally disrespectful how well like these people thought they were gonna win. They thought, oh, bro, we got it. When l fucking Armin pulls up and is like, yo, check out the fresh cut. Boom. Colossal time. 
blows up, bruh. Homeboy boy's like an atom bomb. He blows up, destroys the whole fucking navy. Who was surrounded? When the blimp, when the zeppelin comes in, I was like, they won. Why? And for people who don't understand why they won, when you have the when you have the power to fly and attack, that's a win. Aerial combat is essential in warfare, especially if you're if you're uh, the people you're fighting don't have the means of aerial combat. That is a win. That is a win. The whole the whole thing was all true from the the first episode when they were worrying about all these um, anti uh, anti what again anti Titan weapons, thinking you know what like how are we ever gonna win against these uh, against people who are making anti Titan weapons? We need to get all the Titans so eventually on one day we can win this war because there's gonna be people who are gonna eventually make weapons that can defeat us. Those people already existed. Those people already do exist. And they exist on the Paradise Island, behind the walls. These people don't use anti-Titan fucking weapons. They are the anti-Titan weapons. And that's what's so terrifying about everybody in the Survey Corps. Is like, all these countries are probably looking at these people like, damn, like, these are the people behind the wall. So they're not, they're not even afraid of just Titans. They will fight and destroy these 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 beings, these giants. It is literally terrifying and that's when Gillard sees that he realizes that he's like we can't win against them when Gabby and Falco are looking over and they just see Aaron just draining the, the, the fluid of the Warhammer time just swallowing it is terrifying when Reiner wakes up Reiner, Reiner literally has no will to live his whole contemplation of this series that I've seen so far from episode the recent the most recent episode episode 8 is he puts from the assault episode I think it's episode 8 is he puts the gun in his mouth and he doesn't have the conviction to kill himself Reiner has just gone and just become such utterly defeated and even when he turns in this last episode he's still defeated because he can't even muster enough courage to become full armor titan and god man all I have to say from this episode is fucking Aaron bro this bastard is a genius. He's a reckless son of a bitch. Even Armin is like, yo, Erwin would even think this plan was wild too. Oh my lord. All I have to say is Aaron and this trend, like, what works from this transition better than Game of Thrones. I know Game of Thrones is not an anime series, but what I love about this final season compared to Game of Thrones is we're seeing Aaron's change we know that years have passed by and i get it that's not fair because this is a series you like game of thrones you want to see that change but we've gotten that in aaron from season one all the way to season four we've seen his convictions we've seen him understand like the world isn't just gonna stop every time we keep fighting for a new piece of land we lose and we keep losing like we're gonna have to fight for everything because there's everybody wants to take it away from us we see Aaron's character change. Again, we're gonna get more background of the change when he gets to the island, when he gets to uh, Marley. But we've seen this been happening. While with uh, Danny from Game of Thrones, we've we've only just been told it, and we didn't even get to get it shown so much because every episode is like an hour. You do have enough time to kind of like to slowly push it in there. But it's just such a huge leap that we never even got to breathe. We never got even to let that. That, that change digest but with Aaron we've been slowly eating that piece of di we've we've been slowly digesting everything from episode one to these most recent episodes when he does this attack we've seen that Aaron was never gonna be like this uh horrible like person but we've seen him become it we didn't want him to go down this road but we saw it coming unlike Daenerys who from season one all the way to the, the last season all she did was um Try to try her so hard to stick to this conviction that I have to be better. I have to be better. I have to be better. I'm gonna be better. I am better. To like I'm not better. And we didn't even get to enjoy the I'm not better from I am better scene because she falls so drastically that it's just like, well, what happened to all this growth from season one to season like season eight? Why? What? That those little things that happen shouldn't be what changes everything. And we don't even get to and even if these those are. They're not significant enough to like make us think that change. While with Aaron, it's there. It's been there. 
even when he tells uh he tells Reiner, oh yeah, I did say that, didn't I? I forgot. Like you see in that little face though, like he act that little face of his, he actually did forget. Because that's not what's important right now. He's gonna hurt this world and give them an enemy because he understands this is the truest way to freedom. And I think everybody's already seeing where this where this series is going to lead to or how it's going to lead to. And I think everyone's who is afraid of this ending. The, I want to say the darkest way, but like it's like Game of Thrones. We all knew Daenerys was going to die. We knew Daenerys was not going to survive. Just like we know Aaron's not going to survive at the end of this episode, at the end of this series. Because they've the fall that they've taken is so drastic that if they don't die, we feel cheated. We feel like every anything doesn't everybody can get out of everything and i think that's a lot of the reasons why people kind of wish that sasuke would have died in naruto's because we feel kind of cheated that like well we needed someone to die we needed that big drastic death to show us that this was a real thing but again naruto it's a, it's a battle shown in and i guess attack on time kind of is but it's, it's got a lot of philosophy behind it too so yeah so anyways guys yeah this is gonna wrap it up i'm just excited for what's been happening i could be talking about everything um i love uh falco his uh little introduction and how he's kind of being groomed to be the new titan he acts a lot like rainer also gabby too they both act a lot like aaron as well actually falco acts like aaron's innocent like i want to be a, a soldier to protect my people my country while gabby has the <laughs> aaron's uh sadistic die like i don't know if everyone ever watched the attack on titan bridge but there was this old one that like abridged on Titan, which was funny because you couldn't even say the word Titan with Aaron, without Aaron just going crazy saying Titan, Titan, like the the chocolate dude from SpongeBob, like chocolate, chocolate, like it's just so cool. Like, and um, I think that's what's so cool about gabbing Bakua's characters because I've really enjoyed their characters. They both they both mirror Aaron in the two separate and in, in two separate ways the the dark side of Aaron who's willing to like destroy the world just to get his revenge and the bright side of Aaron the, the Aaron that wants to see the ocean the Aaron that bonded with Armin and wanted to go across the walls and see like the world of beauty like those these two characters both inhabit those um ideals of Aaron and it's 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 scary to see like how now that Aaron's become this monster these two ideals look at him and just he like it's like Aaron looking at himself and wanting to kill himself for being the monster titan that he saw when he first saw the colossal titan along with Aaron, uh, Falco who's now like seeing him as like the one who took that freedom away the one who took their ability to become great or the ability to want to see the world away from him, the dream killer anyways yeah like this this series has been great we're gonna get into more stuff I know I've, I've, I barely touched the surface but I swear, guys, the next episode that comes out of Attack on Titan, we're watching, reviewing it, and we're going to talk in length about this. I might do longer videos for reviews. I've only, I've only done like 11, 12 minute ones. This one's going to be 20 minutes because it's, it's my kind of talking about the content. And um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is your boy Poppy Wolf saying peace out. And I'm glad to be back. And remember, guys, 1,000 subscribers.